Hello, welcome to another review. Today we've got Kamada HG Core. Uh, Kamada Kiva Mask Rider, all seven kinds. So we have here, uh, I think that's the Shocker Boss, guy in charge. Um, review face, and even without the mask, or his sort of Ku Klux Klan style clothing. Uh, Amazon Kiva King. The king form. Come out of the gal. And uh, two Kivas in Emperor form. Uh, I only purchased one because uh, I needed one. And they're both pretty similar anyway. It's just, uh, you know, different hand holding the sword. And on the back, you got the general information and such. If you want to have a close look at that, you can go ahead down to the link below uh, and go to the Facebook album. So let's move right ahead to the figures. Okay, so first we have him, the uh, Shocker. Uh, leader, he's sort of in a few parts. He's just a big chunk of plastic, a hole down there, I guess, to uh, prevent it getting stuck with. Uh, there's water in there, it'll get stuck, I guess. Uh, air pressure, maybe? I'm not sure what that hole is, but uh, it's sort of the same, right size peg for. Uh, sort of, you know, pegging action figures on stands and such, but I'm pretty sure it's not for that, however. I don't know what that this peg is for. It doesn't fit anywhere. Nothing fits on it. But so yeah, I have no idea what that is for. But anyway, here, is, here, here he is. Some looks like a Ku Klux Klan member or or a ghost if you prefer a ghost. Um, I'm mean, inclined to say Ku Klux Klan because if you think about it, uh, Shocker in Commander One is uh, sort of like a neo-Nazi organization. They go around searching for Nazi technology. Which is not surprising that you know that the other designs of other people are similar to other quote unquote evil clans. So that's what he looks like. Um, pointy but uh, not sharp. Uh, the plastic paint feels smooth, a bit shiny. Uh, the paint is very shiny. Sort of got that uh, metallic feel to it. It's like they put metallic paint and mix it with white. And you got this. You can see in the camera, it's reflecting light quite well. So I mean, it's just a shiny piece of plastic. Pretty cool, shiny piece of plastic. And uh, yeah, it'll be should be uh, good for me to do my uh, little Lego minifigure with it. So put it in the back. And because the other one is uh, sort of take the cloak off, and you got this other second cloak underneath. I uh, know, a different character, but uh, it's a sort of shocker. Because um, I, I haven't watched all of Come Out of One yet, so I've only seen these characters in in the uh, crossover movies in the past few years. And then his head's pretty cool. Again, it's just a big chunk of plastic, uh, shiny red paint. Feels a bit oily because it's really shiny. Uh, so the only detail really is us on the uh, head, and it, it it's good enough. And he of course comes with two heads. Uh, you got the one with the oh no spoilers for something from the seventies. Uh, so you got that head, and you got a head where you take you know review. And, oh my god, his actual face looks like this. A bunch of serpents, snakes. Uh, molding wise is pretty good, but detail wise, uh, none of the snakes have any black dots where the eyes should be. But uh, you have these slightly different coloured red and lighter green snakes there, so that that's that's decent. Uh, I, I guess it's not hard to get a marker pen and you know, put some black dots on there, but uh, this is really good for uh, uh, cutting out a Lego head. Don't even have to uh, give him a cloak because he's already gone. So I think I'm just using normal cape and that'll be good enough. And I've been getting quite a lot of uh, Lego capes with the uh, knockoff uh, Lego figures. So uh, next, let's go with Camarada uh, Gal. Just get the. So yeah, here he is. Uh, he's a lot smaller than the other two. He looks pretty decent. I'm just going to focus line. Uh, Modding detail wise, it's all there. Uh, even his belt. I mean, his belt's not painted correctly, but uh, the details are there. Um, I've already made myself a camera the girl Lego minifigure, so, you know, I don't really need this guy. So uh, I won't 
destroy him. I will, however, probably put him on eBay. Or I'll, I'll set him on paper, but uh, he looks pretty good. Uh, the 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 molding is quite detailed. Uh, even have has the hook for his uh, sword to go on, but uh, it's not painted or anything. Uh, one thing to note with this selection is all of them have really good stands actually fit around the foot unlike some really bad ones that we've seen on this channel he's pretty good uh, sword's pretty awesome not much paint detail on the back though uh, that's quite lacking this isn't as good as the other camera the Kiva HG call we saw with all the transparent eyes because as you will see in a sec uh, some of them don't have transparent eyes. Next, we have uh, come on to Amazon in his uh, signature final attack, uh, Hunten Dyson Chop or something. Um, he's got transparent eyes. Don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's there. It's transparent. But yeah, I've got the uh, light on it. So that's cool. Amazon with transparent eyes. Uh, Molding wise, is pretty decent. Although this hand is really loose. So as long as you don't move it, it's fine. Uh, the scarf on the back is uh, solid. Doesn't come off. And uh, we've seen a lot of Amazons in these mini capsule toys. So I guess if you want Amazon in a signature attack and you want transparent eyes, this is the set to get. If you want him, so it's, you know the other ones are him in his uh, sort of he's just posing normally, just before he attacks. And we also have. Amazon in the anniversary release where he's standing, you know, straight like a statue. So it's just sort of choose which ones you want. Uh, Kiva and perform. As you can see, his eyes are solid red. Um, there isn't even a sort of like the lines are everything is molded there, but uh, nothing's actually. A lot of it's uh, not. It's like a lot of paint detail, especially with the sword. It's just black piece of plastic. So that, that's that's going to require some painting because uh, I don't have an M perform yet, so that's why I purchased one of these again to cut the head off so I can make myself an M perform Kiva. Uh, the gold's really nice, the black's really nice, uh, and the molding is also really nice. Just that there's not much going on in terms of actual paint detail, um, especially with a rider like this where they have where he has a lot of accessories on his body, like the uh, this uh, M perform henshin thing. I can't remember what they call it, the little flying dragon. Uh, because uh, the uh, fossils aren't painted, uh, the belt's just a single colour. And I mean, from, even from distance, he suffers from lacking paint detail. Uh, even Kivala, no, Kivalat isn't painted, it's just gold. He, he's not even meant to look gold, he's meant to look more black than, than, than gold. So, yeah. Next we have the king. At first glance he looks a bit better, but uh, that's only because you don't see him as much in the show, the films, because well, you don't see him as much. He's actually missing just as much paint detail as Kiefer Emperor form. Especially you notice his chest piece. Uh, it's just silver and blue paint on his body and a bit of yellow on his helmet. And all the other colours are completely missing. So again, if, if you're good with painting, then by all means get this because it's, it's it's really good detail-wise in, in plastic molding. But there's just so much paint missing on these figures. Um, I mean, digital grey is such. A, uh, I guess I've been spoiled by digital grey, where it's such a perfect uh, sort of uh, uh, these minifigures, where where everything's printed in detail, um, although lacking transparent eyes and such. But uh, for figure this scale, I guess for them to be cheap, this has to be uh, expected. But again, why digital grade can do it? Um, hybrid grade now looks pretty good with all the details and transparent eyes. So I, I guess digital grade has uh, retired. But hybrid grade is coming out so rarely that you don't really get too much of them. They've only released two sets so far, which I really need to get set two to get uh, Kivala, so I can get her head. Um, yeah, so he's 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 okay. Uh, just missing paint. So I guess the best ones out of this is pretty much Amazon. He has all the detail there, and he has transparent eyes. So in terms of this set, Amazon is the best figure with 
nothing missing and also looking good in his final attack. And I guess if you like the sort of villains, uh, even though they're kind of boring, look, this guy looks just fine like in the show, and this guy, this head is fine, but this head you can do a few black dots, it's an easy fix. Uh, next we have this one who's, uh, he, he has most of this detail around, but finally the, the two sort of stars of the set are actually uh, the least detailed figures. So yeah, subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and of course take care and have a nice day. Bye!